Hi, I'm weather analyst Philip Duncan. Before we get into the big low that's heading our way, just a quick update on the ash. We'll have a look and see what's happening. Uh, this is the uh, Met Service map showing where the ash cloud currently is. Now it's this big one in here with the, the, with the dark lines around the outside. Uh, this is the one where the main ash is uh, at the moment, the low level ash. You can see 13,000 to 27,000 feet brushing up along the east coast and that's the reason why we've had those flight problems. This dotted line you see going down here and up around me behind, that's the other ash that was here the other day, uh, 27 to 38,000 feet. That's the one that I was talking about the other day when I said safe to fly. Of course then this one came in the next day and that changed it all. But the good news is as we go to midnight uh, Friday, we can see both systems moving away from New Zealand. We've got that big low up here helping to push things away as well. So uh, look at that, mostly clear skies uh, as far as ash is concerned. The hope is that the weekend will have no ash incidents, but I mean this is changing every sort of 12 to 24 hours, so you do need to keep up to date with um, uh, you know the latest news here at, uh, at the Herald uh, Weather Watch to, to monitor this ash because it will chop and change and I'll touch on that in a moment, but let's get back into the, uh, the big system that's coming down towards us because we do have a big low on the way and this is it here in the Tasman clearly seen right here look at that hot cloud around the center of the low pushing in some pretty big rain clouds into the upper part of the North Island it's also pushing in uh, some big rain clouds towards the Nelson Ranges and it will bring in heavy rain on that west coast as well all right, let's have a look at the rain because we can see quite a lot uh, coming through. So here's our global uh, view. This is the low here and the big rain bands coming in towards New Zealand. Here is New Zealand lying along there. This is midday Friday. Now when we go to midnight, uh, sorry, midnight tonight, we can then have a look at the rain band that's moving through. There we go and it's pushing right down into those northern and western areas of both islands. Particularly heavy rain around Northland, uh, Bay of Plenty, Coromandel Peninsula and the Nelson Ranges. And look at the wind flow, very warm northwest wind changing uh, or northerly wind coming in tonight and overnight into Saturday. So the weather is going to get warmer. Not the isobars though, here is the low and the high behind me. What I'll do is I'll switch on our wind map now and we can show you just where the belt of wind is and there it is all along there. This is the strong winds. So we'll be seeing gale force winds at times. I'm unsure if they'll reach severe gale but it could get quite close and that is for Northland, um, Auckland, Coromandel Peninsula, Great Barrier Island and probably Eastern Waikato. So that's just gales, so just take care if you're driving, uh, you know, motorbikes, high-sided vehicles, things like that. Rest of the country though not looking too bad. So we're going to Saturday now, let's have the rain uh, starts to push further east. Eastern Bay of Plenty you'll get uh, pretty much heavy rain all morning and easing later in the day. Uh, rain continuing along the west coast as well. Wind flow, very warm northwest flow, so highs in the late teens, might even see low 20s in some areas. Uh, the South Island not looking too bad either uh, under the winds uh, coming from the north to north east so it might not be really warm but it's not going to be freezing either but the cold weather is coming so let's have a look at Sunday we have a cold southerly change coming in here now this could bring snow and sleet to the ranges and maybe quite low levels around the lower part of the South Island we have the rain and then the cold air so it's going to turn into snow in some areas so we'll keep a very close eye on that one in the North Island more bands of showers coming through and uh, that will continue off and on right through until Monday so that's that outlook there all right now the next map uh, is a different one to show you this is the wind map of the whole globe. Now it's a bit hard to get your bearings but basically here is Australia, you can just sort of <laughs> see it there, here is New Zealand and if we zoom over towards this way there is South America and of course down here is Chile. Now the reason I'm showing you this is to show you, highlight the roaring 40s all the way along here and this is where the ash is coming from. So it's erupting over here and it's then going up and down, up and down, all around all these lows and um, of course around New Zealand. So you can also see from this map here is the, the southern part of New Zealand and we are further south than all of the other places. So that's why we're having more ash complications than perhaps um, places like Australia and Africa. So that is the setup, the Roaring Forties, and look at the Northern Hemisphere, summer up there, so light winds, the dark blues you see up here, that's all light, light winds. So you can very much see why it's uh, called the Roaring Forties. All right, now uh, yesterday, you may not have known this, but there was a lunar eclipse and I have a couple of photos to show you. This is a sent from Craig Armstrong. Now unfortunately the lunar eclipse um, got underway mostly after the moon had already set here in New Zealand. So you can see very low down here is the tops of the trees, uh, is pretty much setting, um, but it's still big chunk taken out of it. And the next photo is from uh, Heather Garland and again same thing, big chunk taken out here. The reason for this is because this dark circle here is the shadow of the earth. So the shadow of the earth blocking the sun which is coming from that way so that's the reason why we saw that so great photos thank you for sending those in well that's all from me have a fantastic weekend and before i go i'll leave you with the main center weather forecast take care